the international titles on the line against the all-action Londoner Rocky Kelly in a match that undoubtedly came up to expectations. Commentator Reg Guttridge. So it's the second defence then for the Southpaw Scott Gary Jacobs of his Commonwealth Championship and he's also thrown in the WBC international version of a championship which is between those rated between 10 and 30. Not terribly uh, meaningful. Oh, that's a, a very early shove uh, by Jacobs because Rocky Kelly's got a huge fan club as he always attracts in London. Such a colourful character. But he's been unlucky in championship shots. He's had two goes at the British title, Costas Petru in 85 and Kirkland Lang, who's still champion in 87. So a really buzzing atmosphere at Battersea. Referee John Coyle from Wolverhampton now on the world title list. Oh, this is he's such an improved fighter, Jacobs. I've seen him early on and thought, well, he's not bad, but since he's been working with Bobby Neal, former featherweight champion and now good coach, and joined the Mike Barrett stable, he really has improved. But this is a good test because nobody gets an easy night with Rocky Kelly. Picks his punches well, Jacobs. And introduced us to, at the start of this contest was George Collins, who's now got the unbeaten uh, run now in Britain, a record run, really, at World of Eight. And uh, he's hoping that Jacobs will come through here, I think, because he wants to find him. And that's quite a hot match. But there you are, it's now down to Rocky Kelly, or a bit of a veteran, but he's only 26, but he seems as though he's been around a long time. Scheduled, of course, for 12 three-minute rounds with uh, Coyle, the sole judge here. No uh, other than three judges, let's say, for European and World Championships. Very impressed with the accuracy of Jacobs' punching. Very confident, very relaxed. Come on a bit since he won a fight in Las Vegas. In fact, he won the WBC International. So after two minutes of action, we, we've got this chanting of uh, Rocky, Rocky there, but... Uh, and he's added explosive now to his tag, but we'll find out. he will be lucky if he can tag Jacobs. He takes a good punch. Only one defeat, 22 wins, and he reversed that decision against another Scott, Dave Douglas. And he lost that one by only a half-point margin anyway after having Douglas down three times. And the return win was also close, but Jacobs got the nod. becoming now a bit of a box office attraction in his way, Jacobs. He's the only registered Jewish boxer around, and he's wearing the old Star of David that he wants to go back with the great Jack Kidbergs and Al Phillips and uh, those boxers and the Laser Brothers. So a good start, really, by Jacobs. Punch picking well. And uh, Harry Holland working there in uh, Kelly's corner as usual. And this fellow gets really into some heavy battles. He's been around seven years. He was Southern Area champion at one time. But just got a little bit of scar tissue really around the eyes. He's suffered from that a bit. Into round four. And Patton very much the same with the crowd absolutely uh, waving Kelly on there. And he loves it. But Jacobs has been picking punches well, a bit of class. And he's such, such a confident uh, boxer, Jacobs, when he's got such a strong opponent as Kelly there. And uh, just patched up those cuts now, the, the corner men, that really started in the second round, so he's had that handicap. Free Cole letting them get on with this there because they're punching freely at close quarters. Just look at that way he whips that southpaw lead punch right as an uppercut there. We're not too sure about the punching power of Gary Jacobs, but uh, well, he's moving up in class now. And maybe if they make the match with George Collins, we could find out then. But the world champions are a little bit above this at the moment. Marlon Stalin, Mark Breland, Simon Brown are the three title holders.
So he's based in London now, Jacobs, but uh, I tell you, he's so used to getting a good backing in Glasgow, but he's, he's, he's fighting a well away, isn't he? That's the main thing. That's a good test. Won the Commonwealth Championship against an Australian in Glasgow, defended it against a, an African rover from Zimbabwe. And that was a bit of an easy one. Trainer Neil has, has really got some confidence going. You see how he turned that right hand lead into a hook there. He picks punches so well, Jacobs, with a minute to go then in the fourth. Loves to wage these wars of attrition, Kelly, from London, although originally born in Liverpool. Scotland, I see they sent their top boxing writers down uh, to cover Jacobs' his every move now. He's uh, certainly becoming a bit of a hot news north of the border. <laughs> Jacobs trying to keep Kelly at bay. He doesn't want to rough it up close quarters. He's good at that, Kelly, despite cuts around the eyes there. Doesn't bother too much with defence. He wouldn't... Uh, claim to be a defensive expert so there it is there there's Gary Jacobs as I say he's really grown in stature and confidence since he's boxed at uh, the Lonsdale Gymnasium in the part of the uh, Beak Street in London Carnaby Street there with uh, Bobby Neal was he did a lot for the change in Alan Minter to help him to win the World Championship. Can he do it with Jacobs? And we're into round six. And Kelly really fighting well under the handicap of cuts around the eyes. They've worked well on the corner with those. You know, just trying to pour his way. Jacobs there, but it's Kelly always pressing on, but Jacobs ahead. Clever punch picking by Jacob. He's trying not to get too involved. He doesn't want to get into hard battles at this stage of his career. He's he's learning even if he does come from the battlefield area in Glasgow. Kelly really trying to deny Jacobs any sort of space in the ring, trying to crowd him all the time. But he, he boxes well on the retreat as well, Jacobs, when he's moving away, he still picks the punches accurately. Got a good variety, can change the punch pattern a bit, Jacobs, but nonetheless, I always enjoy watching Kelly because he makes the other fellow well, fight to the last depth, doesn't he, all the time. pinned in that corner there Jacobs who knows which position to take but Kelly's letting punches go freely as well Jacobs a little bit more forceful and accurate with them good hard competitive fight this all, all the way well you knew that would be with Kelly he's never been in a dull fight and it's a, it's a good test now for Jacobs. But he's got a good few rounds in the bank now, so we'll, Kelly really got to try to overcome that, but he's certainly got that handicap of the cuts.
See, there it is working there with the adrenaline coagulate there, Holland. It's, it's always a worry, and the uh, referee call will just come around and glance over. He won't, he'll let the seconds get on with the work before the next round starts, and then he checks. Big-hearted batter, the sort of billing that they would put underneath Kelly's name, wouldn't they? So a little bit of Vaseline smearing there that to try to let the, the gloves slip by if they can. So almost like somebody dismissing their office cares the way uh, Jacobs is listening to Jake at Neil there. Well, if he understands that, it will low ball in Glasgow was brought up in Edinburgh in around seven then and uh, Gary Jacobs from Glasgow doesn't mind taking on Kelly virtually in his own backyard I suppose anywhere in London would be considered that way for Kelly he brings his fan club with him comes from Acton the way that he uses the defensive action in his favour there Jacobs, a bit of the old fashioned style of boxing, that hit and move and then counter because he knows that Kelly's always going to come straight at him as though he's on railway lines it up a bit there are they Jacobs he's uh, well more than fancying his luck now he's, he gives the impression that he's uh, got it under control certainly Kelly wouldn't agree with that so that's the name of the game hit without being hit he can he can dig solidly Jacobs that uh, one win in America in uh, Las Vegas which is almost the boxing capital of the world I suppose now has, has really given him that little bit of championship glamour and feel about it all now he's really enjoying it Jacobs and probably did the right thing to get more sparring uh, in the London area than he got than he managed at home with a minute to go then in the seventh stands square on and he shoots that punch there it is again inside the protective gloves he hoped of Kelly but he's getting through now Jacobs and the eyes are bleeding again above the brows they're both sides and he's turning it on in the seventh to Scott a little bit of shoving to go with it get off I'm trying to throw punches Jacobs is saying comes to hard we'll find that uh, Kelly can match him all the way for that that's for sure but he's in trouble there and he's turned away there without the referee talking to him he's, he's appealing to his second the referee's saying take time off and he walked away there's just a few seconds uh, to go there and no the second Harry Holland his manager just said no we can't cope with those he has surrendered even before the referee stopped it there but John Coyle agreed with it and immediately stopped 